Okay, this is an additional file uh, to clarify the formula cash flow. Uh, we're going to use the same number on your notes. So we have uh, end the year, begin year, balance information, and income statement. So first item, operating cash flow. This is uh, EBIT plus depreciation minus tax. So this OCF, that's cash flow from companies normal business activities or day-to-day -day operation basis and look at the formula <coughs> we have EBIT plus depreciation so why we add the depreciation look at income statements the sales 2000 million minus cost 1400 then company has 600 million money then we subtract the depreciation 100 million. Then we have EBIT as 500 million. But that doesn't mean company has only 500 million because cost is money out. However, depreciation, this is not money movement at all. Company does not pay 100 million to anybody. Simply this is accounting rule that company can lower taxable income by subtracting depreciation early. So this is not actual cash pay. We have to add back. So EBIT plus depreciation, that means not 500, but 600 million company has up to here. That's the formula has plus depreciation here. And company pays interest. But in the formula, there is no minus interest. Why? Because we focus on operating cash flow. And this interest income is from companies that company, if it borrows from other people, other investors, then company has to pay interest. So company has two options, either borrow money and do business and pay interest to the lenders, or a company doesn't borrow at all and then do business. That means interest payment will be zero. So anyway, this is not operation basis, but it's a financing activity. So we do not include in the formula. Then tax is actual payment. So we have to pay tax. We subtract tax. So OCF, operating cash flow, we use the formula EBIT plus depreciation minus tax. Yeah, of course, interest is actual cash out. So, uh, based on this formula, we may understand that this is not perfect formula. So you can maybe develop better formula than this. Then we're going to use your formula. Anyway, up to now, this OCF formula we use, that's EBIT plus depreciation minus tax. And we do not include interest because this is not operation basis, but the financing activity. So we have uh, OCF using the formula $500 million. Let's move to the second one. That's uh, net capital spending. Net capital spending, that's the money you spend in fixed asset. So here, the fixed asset, $400 became $500. Remember, any time you buy additional assets, that means money outflow because you have to pay. So just looking at begin year 400 million net fixed asset, end the year 500 million, so looks like 100 million up. But that doesn't mean company spent only 100 million. Okay, look at here, additional explanation here. This one, okay, begin year 400, end the year 500. But if you take a look at that depreciation number, company depreciated $100 million in income statement. What this means? The fixed asset amount in end the year from begin year is not 400, but 300. Because out of 400, we depreciate the 100, that means only 300 million value come into 
and the year fixed asset. Another way, if 300 go back here, from this 400, we depreciate the 100. And then only 300, 300 million comes in to end the year from begin to end, only 300. But answer is finally 5. That means 300 plus 200 ended up 5. So the actual cash outflow from fixed asset or this net capital spending should be not 100 but 200. So how we can get 200? By doing 500 and the fixed asset minus 400 beginning fixed asset plus this depreciation. So 500 minus 400 plus 100 ended up 200 million. That's the actual net capital spending. So I put up here the detailed explanation. You read it again, then you can get what that means. So end the fixed asset minus the beginning plus the hidden number depreciation. And then we're going to end up 200 million as the actual cash outflow. Go back to formula, the last one. Net working capital change, we have to subtract. This is the money company spent in short-term area. So look at here. We have this lengthy formula. We use a change in networking capital. That's ending year networking capital minus beginning year networking capital. Why we do that? If you take a look at the income statements, okay? Our company and, uh, not income statement, but the balance information, our company has 100 increase in current assets. If you take a look at end the year, 700. Go back here again. Current asset, end the year, 700. Beginning year, 600. If you just take a look at current asset changes, again, adding more asset means money out, and you see, oh, company purchased 100 million additional current assets, so money out is just $100 million. Actually, this is less. Look at here. Current asset change is $100 million, But look at the current liabilities. Any time liability goes up means cash in. Current liability $300 million and the year $350. That means company should pay, but company didn't pay $350 million. Compared to last year, company increased the 50 million liabilities. That means they should pay, but they didn't. That's cash out. They didn't make their cash out. So from current asset to change here, 100 million up, looks like 100 million money out. But company, 50 million, they have to pay, but they didn't. They didn't pay yet. That means the net Cash out is here 100, and then they didn't pay 50. So 100 minus 50 equals 50 million. So current area company cash spending is not 100, but 50 million only. Go down here again. If you use this formula, okay? Ending year net working capital, that's 700 minus 350. And begin year net working capital, 600 minus 300. So by subtracting the two, you're going to end up the right answer, $50 million. If you don't like this one, then you can do current asset differences in two years and current liability differences in two years. As we explained in here, 700 minus 600, that's 100. And in here, 350 minus 300, that's 50. You subtract the two. That's another way you can get the 50 million short-term area spending as the right answer. So the final answer in your lecture notes. We have operating cash flow, 500 here, minus net capital spending here, 200, and minus net working capital change, 50 here. Okay. So the answer end up, 500 minus 200 minus 50 equals 
$250 million that cash flow from asset. Hopefully this will uh, clear some of you who didn't get clearly at that time the PowerPoint presentation.